Hey, this is Gary from g, &G Electronics. Um, today, I'm going to be going over how to install a Amazon thermostat on a two-wire Beckett forced hot air burner. Uh, probably about 60% of the homes here in Maine have these uh, two-wire Beckett burners. And a lot of people up here... Um, are afraid to use the Amazon thermostat because they can't figure out how to get the C connection to work on it. And a lot of them are ordering, the, because Amazon will tell you, if you have two wires, you're going to need the adapter. So they order the adapter, but it won't work with a two-wire Beckett burner. Um, so that's one thing, guys. If you have a two-wire Beckett burner... Um, this that adapter from Honeywell that Amazon wants you to get it won't work and I'm going to show you how to get this Amazon thermostat to work with a two wire Beckett um, you're going to have to uh, order a separate part uh, called a transformer that you wire into the Amazon um, thermostat now just uh, two things on the software I'm really not going to go into the software that much um, because if you're ordering one of these smart thermostats, you know what software it is. So I'm not even going to even really touch too much on it. But one thing is, is QR code that comes on this little hello thing with the thermostat. Don't lose it. Um, you may need it in the future. I don't know why, but don't lose it. This identifies your thermostat to Alexa. That QR code is specific to your thermostat. The other thing is, is if you can't get your thermostat to work, go into scheduling. Right out of the box, for some stupid reason, scheduling is turned on on your thermostat so that your thermostat will not turn on until Friday at 6 a.m. So just go into scheduling, turn it off, and hopefully your uh, thermostat will turn on. But primarily what I want to do is go over the wiring and how to wire in a two-wire Beckett oil burner onto the Amazon thermostat. All right, I'm going to turn this back around, and I'm going to go over the wiring with you. So let me pop my glasses on here, and I'll turn you around. I won't need any. All right, I need some, a little bit more light maybe. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, so anyways, that's the thermostat. I'm going to go over the wiring with you in a minute. I'm going to move over here, and I'm going to go to the Beckett Furnace, and you see right here, it says TW and TR. That's all you get out of these burners, this Beckett burner, all right? It's just TW, TR, and all that needs is a short across the two wires, and it turns the burner on, and as soon as it opens, it turns the burner off. That's how these basically work. It's just an open and closed circuit. But for the Amazon, you're going to need an auxiliary transformer, such as this. All right. Let me pop it this way. That's a 16.5 20VA AC transformer, and I got it just wired AC and AC. I didn't ground it. All right. So I'm going to plug this back in. I'm going to close my, my burner door. I'm going to go up here and make sure my switch is on. Now I'm going to go over the wiring for the Amazon. Um, this is the actually the Amazon thermostat right here. And there's the back of it. Alright. But anyways. Uh, yep, I can see that. The red and black wire comes from the transformer. The blue and yellow comes from the furnace. So the transformer goes into C and RC. This little tab, you have to actually push this tab down to get to the RC. Because for some reason, they don't want you to use it, but that's what you need. The transformer, it doesn't matter. There's no polarity because it's AC. So the transformer goes from C to RC. The Beckett burner goes from W to R. You don't have to worry about all of this because you don't have any air conditioning or anything like that. And you're not a heat pump. 
and so on and so forth. This is just for a two-wire Beckett oil burner. So again, the transformer goes to C, RC. The Beckett burner goes from R to W. We'll grab our, our uh, thermostat. You see that little moon shape there that goes on the top where this moon shape is here. Oh, I gotta you got to close this little door. Sorry. Pop it in. And then it'll come up with either off or it'll say, oh, 76 degrees. So let's let that set for a second. Usually it takes, uh, probably after you plug this in, about two, three minutes for it to liven up. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I just did something. So let's see if it'll turn on. So you hit the center button. And I'm going to bring that heat. The heat was set at 64. I'm going to bring it up to uh, 85. Keep going. 85. 86. Okay. It's calling it 86. Now, it takes a minute for the furnace to actually turn back on after, after you plug it in the first time. So let's just wait. Some of these, um, yeah, there it is right there. See that yellow flashing? That means it's in minimum run time. What minimum run time does is if you suddenly turn the heat on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, this thermostat won't allow that so that it does not burn out, say that you got air conditioning on this, it won't burn out the compressor on it because you'll easily burn out a AC compressor. If you turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, you'll burn it right out. All right, so now let's just wait. Again, I just repowered this. It, the first time, it, it does take some time. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? Oh, there it is. It just turned on. I had to make sure that I had the uh, the furnace door shut. Let me just go back here and show you the whole furnace. That's a Miller right there. Two wire oil burner. All right, let me go back out here. You can hear it. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna shut it off. So I'm gonna go bring this all the way back down to like 57. I just turned it to 57. And it'll take a second and it'll shut it off. And there we go. I don't know if you can hear that, but it just shut it off. But that's all there is to it, guys. You just wire your thermostat. You run two wires from the thermostat down to the burner. And you put it on TW and TR. And it doesn't matter in here what TW and TR goes on to. doesn't matter. And also on this, um, you run another two wires from your transformer, which is, it'll say AC, AC. You run that over to the Amazon. You put it on C and RC. And then two wires coming from your Beckett burner go on to R and W. And you're fine. It works perfectly. All right, guys. So, uh, sorry I had to do this on my phone. But that's how you wire a Amazon thermostat into a two-wire Beckett Furnace here in the Northeast. Leave any comments and everything down below. Thanks, guys.